The East African country of Ethiopia is a land of inviting beauty. Its people hold a rich culture of music, diverse religions, and family tradition. It is also a country of scarce resources and hardship. In recent decades, Ethiopia has suffered the effects of drought, famine, war, and a healthcare void that has left millions infected with HIV and malaria. Less than a third of the population has access to clean drinking water. Even fewer have access to any kind of health services. As a result, over 80% of illnesses and deaths in Ethiopia are caused by preventable diseases. This poverty and healthcare crisis has orphaned over 5 million children. Since 2003, the Boston-based Child Welfare Agency, Wide Horizons for Children, has worked in some of Ethiopia's hardest-hit communities to improve this disastrous cycle. Wide Horizons' humanitarian aid strategy aims to break the cycle of poverty, with two interrelated aspects to their mission. One aspect is the Family Empowerment Program, which sponsors nearly 1,000 destitute children and their surviving relatives. The Family Empowerment Program is a three-year commitment that literally transforms their lives. My, my name is Fulmon Bide. My name is Isatis Famikael. I am 11 years old. My name is Alexander Kinos. I am uh, 12 years old. Rather than just handing out welfare support, Wide Horizons economists provide stipends and personal consultations to the families that help them launch an entrepreneurial venture, such as livestock husbandry, craft making, or a small business. For example, $80 purchases a cow that provides three liters of milk daily for years to come. She started sending them to school to learn, started to buy one cow, and the others she was using for their daily food as well, clothes and school properties. A minimum of 30 per a day she gets from the milk, and she is in a better condition than before with her uh, children. Thank us for uh, a wide horizon. Yeah. Really, without wide horizon, those children and their father and mother and grandfathers, they cannot live, standard living, really. Wide Horizons also provides international adoption services for orphans when there are simply no local solutions. The second aspect of Wide Horizons humanitarian outreach targets the health of the rural Ethiopian towns themselves, places rarely touched by larger agencies that operate primarily in cities. Here, Wide Horizons builds clean water projects where none existed before and construct schools in overcrowded districts where children previously could not attend. This is a new building which Wide Horizons built. There are a lot of students who need more classrooms and more help, so that's why Wide Horizons built this with four classrooms. There is no another school. This is the only school for the Gordama village. In addition, Wide Horizons builds urgently needed health clinics. This is Atsada Maria Health Center, and this health center is constructed by Wide Horizon for children. This uh, health center will give service for about 350,000 from the town dwellers as well from the surrounding village. They send Western doctors to provide critical care and medical supplies, as well as to train the local healthcare workers. 
Wide Horizons' efforts succeed in transforming Ethiopian communities because each project starts with a specific request from the town and requires a minimum of a 10% commitment of donated labor and material from its citizens. The people take ownership of the project through its entire life cycle. Wide Horizons strategically layers its humanitarian projects so that donor support reaches all the way from the poorest orphans to the overall health of their communities. The results are truly powerful projects that transform thousands of lives. Wide Horizons outreach has only just begun. Every donation makes a real difference in the lives of the Ethiopian people. Bazo banga e e bazo kima makambo. Yeah, 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 yeah